Hey, welcome. So today I am going to discuss uh, about this reaction as you can see. So this is basically a reaction of an uh, pyrrole with these two reagents, these two different conditions are given and this question is very favorite for exams like uh, jam, gate or net. Okay, this question uh, several times they ask this question and uh, this question is also very important in terms of mechanistic point of view and I would like I will make my full effort to uh, let you understand this concept now uh, let us first write what will be the product so in this case we will get a product this okay so the pyrrole nucleus is undergoing uh, conversion to pyridine nucleus but in this case the product is not pyridine it is retaining its pyrrole structure but only this uh, extra group CH3C2T this group is adding in this two position okay but you will uh, be surprised by uh, watching that this both of this condition gives uh, carbines and the carbines are uh, same in character also okay so what I am trying to say is that so let us first take condition A let's say this is condition A this is condition B so if this is condition A so what we will get so we have given ETOCO in in H. okay so when heat is given so what will have happen it will collapse like this so you will get one molecule of nitrogen and this carbon okay now as you can see due, due to the presence of this electron withdrawing group this carbon is actually electrophilic carbon now what can happen if you uh, react this carbene with this uh, with this pyrrole okay so what will happen this carbene will insert in this double bond to give you this compound okay right so you will get this compound now for uh, keep this uh, molecule aside and let us uh, see what will happen in this case so in this case you have this dichloromethane and when butyl lithium is added this butyl anion will accept abstract this proton to give you this carbon and right now this chlorine can be expelled to give you this carbon okay so you will get this carbon now when you add the pyrrole it will again insert in this double bond okay so both of the carbons are electrophilic in this case due to the presence of this chlorine minus I effect and both uh, up to this step both reactions are same now what is the difference so why uh, they are giving different products so I am erasing this part so we have these two compounds in our hand one is this okay one is this and another one is this okay now let us uh, think what can happen after this so there is a lone pair here now it can push this lone pair and this bond will go here 
Now two possibilities are there. Either this bond can break because it is attacking here. So this center it is attacking this center. This particular center it is attacking. Okay. So either this bond can break or this bond can break. So out of these two conditions, what we are getting? So in green pathway, we will get this one and in a red pathway we will get this one so one two okay so this so what is happening in the red pathway when uh, this bond is breaking, this chlorine will be eliminated. This Cl minus will be eliminated and we will get this. After that, we will get this neutral pyridine. Okay. So, this is our pyridine product. Now, uh, think about yourself. What, what, uh, if, if you consider these two cases. So, in this case, in the red pathway, it is giving a more stable product. Like, this is a pyridine nucleus just protonated at nitrogen but in this case this product if you compare this two outcome this is much much less stable than this because here it is a negative charge although it is stabilized by the minus i effect of this uh, chlorine, uh, chlorine but this pathway is much more faster because it is giving the elimination product the chlorine will be eliminated to give this now let us think about this one so in this in this case also there are two possibilities either the this bond can break or this bond can break okay now let us first take uh, the red pathway so e, what happens if red occurs so you will be getting like this okay so nh this plus, uh, plus and now this and uh, you are getting you are getting here uh, okay so red pathway is like uh, mm, here you are getting CO uh, CO OET and here you have a negative charge right okay so uh, Actually, this this bond is for so I did a mistake. Sorry. Uh, this bond one two three four five six. So one two three four five six. Okay. Now bond is formed between this one and uh, this one, right? So you are getting this, right? Now, uh, okay. So this is the product. Now, uh, what is the product of the uh, uh, green pathway? So, if you follow the green pathway, you will get like this. NH plus. Okay. And now, you have so, so uh, look carefully that if you push this lone pair here, then this double bond will go here. And when this bond breaks, okay, it is actually stabilized in this carbonyl group so you are getting a stable carbonyl okay so you are getting the stable carbonyl but look at this 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 is not stable because uh, after breakage of this bond when this bond is breaking this is just remaining as negative charge here okay this, this cannot be stabilized because there is a saturated saturated sp3 carbon this carbon atom this sp3 carbon atom so this is sp3 carbon atom so it cannot be delocalized into the carbonyl group now if you consider these two pathways obviously this will be favorable because this is in this case the carbonyl is stabilized into the carbonyl group and after that tautomerization okay so after that tautomerization will give you uh, the product in H CO CO2ET okay so
so here tautomerization will so there is a proton so it can take here and this is the mechanism okay so in this way you will get this product and in this case you will get this product so this will not occur and this will also not occur so presence of these two groups so in this case presence of this cl group and in this case the presence of this uh, ester group they determine what will be the outcome of the product so in this case the elimination is favorable that is why elimination is occurring and in this case this particular cc bond breaking is favorable there is no group that can be eliminated so this is not occurring and you are getting this product so it is a slightly confusing mechanism but it is if you understand the concept it is very simple so let me uh, write this one more clearly okay i think you are not able to see so what is happening here is that in the green pathway you are getting this one okay so here is a proton and your negative charge is delocalized into this ester group now this can come back this enolate it can take this proton this bond goes here and you get your desired product okay so what will be your product so your product will be retention of the pyrrole nucleus okay so this is the mechanism and hope this video you like and also the, the jm exam is uh, next sunday so uh, all the best for you and thank you for watching my video please subscribe my channel